YouTube. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Gun Talk. Today we're going to be talking about some things that are near and dear to me. Guns. It is safe to say that guns are near and dear to me and that's why we love the Second Amendment because it allows us to be able to legally carry. But enough of the babble about things that us gun enthusiasts already know. We're going to be talking about some things that most of us don't know which is how to color fill your firearms. You know, and if you know what color fill is, sometimes you have a certain logo on there that you want to pop, you know, and um, and there's, there's a, many different ways to do it. Today we're gonna to take the economical route, which is using your favorite nail polish color. Favorite nail polish color. Um, I would suggest a pretty decent brand because you're not gonna want it to do uh, the smearing and you know, it just makes the cleanup a lot more easier So before we get off into that we have a couple of uh, firearms laid out today We have the Glock 22 now this one I had already kind of done some extras to this one I had already color filled it you can see the the Stamping on there and we'll get it. We'll have uh, close-up pictures of these things here. Then I kind of added the uh, the extra uh, like four it depends on what caliber you get, but this one is an extra four rounds to the magazine here. You want to make sure these are legal in your state, in my state they are. Then I added the extra base plate on there. Now let's, uh, although the slide is locked back, the magazine is empty, we, we want to over exaggerate the safety uh, aspect of it. So, safety, 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 safety. Make sure that your fingers are off the trigger before you go to pick up the firearm. Make sure there's nothing in the barrel. And by doing doing the flashlight thing, it's a lot more safer than looking down the uh, looking down the barrel to ensure that there's nothing obstructing the barrel and things like that. Using the flashlight, you can clearly see an unobstructed stream of light through the chamber, shine through the magazine well. You can see that there's nothing in there, so that one is clear. I'm gonna place the magazine back in there. Now this one here, this is the G2C by Taurus. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Now, I will warn you guys, by doing these um, color fills and adding the extras and the colorful things on there, it typically makes you not wanna shoot it. Now, this one here, this is no longer my everyday carry. Reason why, because I kinda of made it look a little bit pretty. Hey, it is what it is. But this one here, I haven't done anything special to this one. I hadn't, this is straight out of the box. And I must say this Taurus G2C, it runs really good. It is it, it, it is a, uh, a double action trigger pull. So although we don't see this happening on, uh, on the exterior, the trigger is doing two motions. It is pulling back the uh, striker or, or hammer, whatever internal mechanisms it has and it is releasing them simultaneously. So this is, uh, it, you're not gonna have the crisp trigger pull like you have with a Glock. That's like the only difference, you know, but uh, myself and a friend of mine, we all have the same uh, motto. The best gun to have around you is the one that goes bang. Both of these go bang. So I'm not uh, comparing or anything like that. They, these are both pretty reliable firearms, especially this one out of the box this runs this will this will save your life and it's not that expensive like i say when you all get off into doing things like this and that and the color fill and whatnot you don't want to have to use this in a self-defense situation and have your firearm locked up in some god-awful evidence locker collecting dust you know especially if you spend six hundred dollars on the pistol but this one here this one is about 250 I think I bought this one online for just under a hundred bucks uh, or I'm sorry just under 200 bucks um, You know, so I would much rather have no offense to Taurus or anything because like I say this is a really good gun um, But I would much rather have this one sitting in an evidence locker All right now we do have an AR-15 next to us. Let's make sure this one is clear Let's check that barrel Check the magazine. Well, I think this one is safe. I think it is. All right, so um, 
to do the color fill job, you're gonna need some of these here uh, spatulas. These, this one in particular costs a dollar at your local uh, hardware store. Um, this one is plastic. It's not good. It, you know, I wouldn't recommend getting the metal ones because you may scrape the finish on your uh, firearm. But these plastic ones, they work really good. And like I say, I had already done this one, and this one is old now, and it still looks really good to me. So you're gonna need the spatula, latex gloves and non-acetone nail polish remover because you don't want to have that acetone scrape up and eat the finish on your firearm as well. Um, and then next you're going to need your favorite color. Now, I'm sure there are some, um, some nail polish aficionados that will say, this is a red, this is whatever color they would say this. I'm gonna assume it is red, so. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me if you're into nail polish and you say that this is, um, I don't know, hot rod red or whatever. But um, for today's uh, purposes, we're just going to use it as a basic red to mark uh, our fire. And we're going to use white for the uh, lettering and for the safe uh, markings on there. Is that okay? I'm going to assume that it is okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. So now, like I said earlier in the video, things that you're gonna need for this uh, next next uh, portion of the video is gloves, cotton swabs, non-acetone nail polish remover, your handy dandy spatula, and your favorite nail polish. All right, so now let's glove up. And some of you all may be thinking you don't need gloves and things like that, but these are all uh, firearms that primarily fire lead. They do make non-lead uh, uh, rounds, and if you're uh, from where I'm from, you probably know of a non-lead uh, range or two. But we're going to act as if these fire lead, and there's no real purpose of exposing yourself to lead unnecessarily. So let's just glove up and be safe. So enough of my babble about that let's start with white and now this is this lower goes to uh, my Smith & Wesson uh, MMP 22 give it a quick shake drape that over there and now you're gonna add a rich amount to that uh to those letters and whatnot because you're gonna want it to show up pretty thick in there. So don't be afraid. I wouldn't pour the whole bottle over, but um, I wouldn't be afraid to add what's needed. You know, you're not gonna hurt the firearm by any means. So now that that's draped over there, this is where your, um, your spatulas come in handy. You're gonna wanna get some paper towel as well. Get that ready while that kinda soaks in there. So now you're gonna take the spatula, see how that's draped over there, you can't see what it is and whatnot. And when I showed you guys that on the video, you guys probably wasn't able to tell exactly what type of gun this is. Now, I think for this model, they actually make, make it with the uh, white lettering and whatnot. But in the event you weren't able to get that one and thought that, hey, it looks pretty cool and I want it, I'm going to show you how to get it. Already you can tell exactly what that is. And now where the acetone comes in and the cotton swabs because you're not going to want that extra filmy residue to pop up there. So I'm gonna get a cap of this, pour up a decent cap and then I'll leave that there now, because we're going to be working with multiple colors, I'm going to set this up there, and I'm going to work on the um, 
I'm gonna hit the white safe mark and I'm gonna wipe all these together. This way I'm not going back and forth with this color and that color. We're just gonna drape that in there like so and like i said you're, you're gonna lay a generous amount in there because these engravings they're they're pretty deep in there which isn't a bad thing by any means so we're going to just grate that across there like so take off the access take off the access there And anybody that knows nail polish knows that it, it dries pretty quickly. You guys can see that, right? So like I say, this this is something to give your firearm just a little bit more pop and pizzazz. And some people are probably saying, well, it shouldn't need that. That's all fine and dandy. For you, that is. Not for me. I want my stuff to look a certain way. So we're gonna take that red and drape it in there like so. Now you can you can use white throughout the whole thing, or you can use some fancy color like I have uh, I have blue here um, and things like that. Um, just for this particular gun, I'm going to go with white and red. Scrape that off there. Now the red is going to show up a little bit darker. Because it's going from black to red and then to white. So you'll see the white ones obviously a lot better. Now, I've just taken this cotton swab, dipped it in a little 9 acetone uh, nail polish remover, and then I'm just going to wipe around where I was just working at, and it's going to clean it up really good. Take a small piece of uh, paper towel, wipe as I go. Like I say, you guys can use any color that fits your particular needs. Like I say, for me, I thought that this would be the best route. Now, once you've got that first coat in there, it's always nice to hit it with a second coat just in case you had taken some out. And then your final coat is going to be really like embedded into those engravings on there. So like I said, the more you put in there, the better it's gonna come out because it's not gonna have anywhere to run. It's not gonna uh, wash out. Like it's gonna be a couple layers thick into there. So like I said, I'm just gonna repeat this process and then I'm gonna hit the safe marking. And while this is all happening, that red is just drying up in there. Just drying up in there. And then we're gonna go over that to make that, you know, pop a little bit more. So like I say, for those that kind of skipped ahead and want to see the end product, this is kind of where we're at right now. So you'll have to stick around. Yeah, you'll have to stick around and watch the whole thing. Uh, in, all ser in all seriousness, I appreciate you guys watching me and whatnot. I really do. And, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about anything I'm working on or uh, need some help working on something else that you got going on um, They have a message button on here shoot me a message and I will gladly try to help you and if I can't help you I will try to point you in the direction of somebody that can Yeah, now that's really in there Yeah
Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to come back to this one. Wipe that away. Now, before I clean this up a second time, I'm going to reapply the red. Because I want that to really pop, you know. Kind of like the old, uh, I'm sure they do this on more firearms. None of the ones that I have except has the red dot on there, you know, on the uh, safety mark. But none of them that are, you know, um, none that I have have the whole safe or fire word color field. I gotta do that myself. And I think that that red, you know, for the uh, fire and all that, I think it, um... I think it gives it a pretty unique look. You know, we're all familiar with the H and K's. They've uh, or the H and K um, MP5s. They all have that marking on there, and I thought that was cool growing up. Yeah, now that red is in there real good. Just clean up the size there. So now, now that uh, the white's been drying for a little bit, I'm gonna go behind it and I'm gonna clean it up. You know, this is quick enough to do in your spare time, you know, but I wouldn't try to rush it by any means because you're gonna want your stuff to look nice. So rushing it, it'll only it only hurt you in the long run. You know, you you have a crappy job on there, and nobody's gonna want to see it because it'll look terrible. All right, that wasn't too bad, was it? So now we're gonna work on a couple of pistols. Move that out of the way. Now, like I say, I, I've done the, I've done the, um, the Glock before. I think it came out really nice. If you all want to find out where to get any of these two from, just comment and I'll get back with you. All right, so now, like I said, this one, I'm not trying to go all out for. I just want it to look basic. I just want it to, um, you know, just for the sake of letting you guys know that it can be done on a pistol all the same. Um, you know, so now for the purpose of doing this on this pistol, I'm going to take it apart. Got that guy. 
guy that take out the barrel. All right, so yes, they have the big Taurus marking on there. I don't know if you guys could see that. I'm not doing that. I will mark the G2C just so you guys can see that it can be done. You know, that's that's as far as this one will go. Because like I said, I'm not trying to make this one look pretty. It is a really good gun, but you know, I'm not this is this is my everyday carry, you know, and I don't want some pretty dolled up piece of uh work, you know, piece of art I'm gonna call it, in somebody's evidence locker. You know, in the event I had to uh defend myself with it. So you all keep that in mind when you guys go out to uh, buy these firearms and whatnot, because I know a lot of people that try to get these extravagant pieces, and it's like, dude, you 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 only you're only using this as for your concealed carry. I mean, it, you're gonna shoot somebody, and they're gonna uh, what's gonna happen depending on what state you're in. If you don't file a motion to get your firearm back in the event you had to use it in self defense, they're gonna destroy it. I think that's in most states. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, wherever you guys are. Um, they're going to destroy it. And nobody wants some uh, pistol that they've spent. I, I know quite a few uh, quite a few SIG and 1911 guys. Nobody's going to want their shit, excuse my language, in somebody's evidence locker. You know, and you've spent on the low end $500, $600 on a Glock. You know, if you're like a SIG or um, uh, Kimber 1911 type of guy, you're not going to want something like that in a locker and then not file the proper motions and it ends up getting destroyed in the long run. Nobody wants that. So, like I say, for the sake of letting you guys know, bam. Bam. G2C 9MM. And just like that, it's done. Everyday concealment. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, like, share, subscribe, and, and just let me know anything you guys want to know about anything firearm related. If you guys want to know, hey, where, uh, where'd you get this and where'd you get that? Let me know. As, uh, as always, stay safe, stay prepared, stay aware, and be safe. You know, I can't stress that enough.